why are the faculty at so many impressive institutions so monolithically to the left? They can't help it. <laughs> they, they, uh, because they see each other and live with each other and listen to each other and talk to each other. And they t all turned left uh, in, in this way in the late 60s. So you saw you it happen. You were on the I saw it happen. Right. That's when it took place. In the late 60s, this, uh, the new left took over from liberalism. Well, at that time, they were simply taken over by the young. Some of them fought, and, they, and, and I fought with them. I was younger. But uh, most of them uh, succumbed to the um, siren call of the new left. All of us were undemocratic because we graded people and because we uh, had, had standards and we thought that some people were smarter than others. They came after us and they in, um, invaded classrooms and, in, and interrupted public discussions and pushed everybody in the universities to the left. What I saw then was just how weak liberalism was in mm. its uh, because there was fundamental no fight in center. It. There was no fight. No longer did it, it was a liberal somebody who stood up for something and, uh, and stood up in defense of liberty. But it was a, a, a person who was also eager to please and also afraid of being criticized by those younger than he. At that time, they, you could say the youth and the students took over the university.